Study Session 7 Derivational Morphology Introduction In the last lecture, we considered inflectional morphology with particular reference to the English verb. In this lecture, you will learn more about word structure, in particular, how new words are derived from existing ones by means of derivational morphemes. Objectives. At the end of this lecture, you should be able to, one, identify different types of derivational morphemes and their meanings. Two, analyze the structure of derived words like nouns, verbs, adjectives, etc. And three, form new words from existing words in English. Pretest. How many morphemes can you identify in each of the following? Remember, comprehensibility, encouragement, deforestation, post-structuralism, decolonization, and irredentism. Content. What is derivation? In examining the structure of lexical words in English, we use the term derivation. Derivation is concerned with the process by which new words are formed from other words. The process involves the attachment of a derivational affix, prefix and suffix to a free morpheme. There are two main classes of derivation. A a class changing derivation and b a class maintaining derivation a class changing derivation is the one in which the word class for the resultant or derived word has changed nouns may be derived from verbs by the addition of a derivational suffix example age or ans as in breakage now and conveyance now Nouns may also be derived from other nouns. Nation, concrete noun. Nationhood, abstract noun. Mother, concrete noun. Motherhood, abstract noun. Man, concrete noun. Manhood, abstract noun. Adjectives may be derived from nouns by adding derivational suffixes like fool, less, why, like, ish, lie, able, and so on as in these examples, hopeful, childless, boldly, childlike, airy, foolish, tolerable, friendly, and so on. A derived word may become the base of another derivation. Friend, noun, friendly, adjective, friendliness, noun, God, noun, godly, adjective, godliness, noun. In examining the structure of lexical words in English, we use the term derivation. Derivation is concerned with the process by which new words are formed from other words. The process involves the attachment of a derivational affix, prefix, and suffix to a free morpheme. A derivational suffix is a morpheme that usually changes the word class of the word to which it is added. In other words, the addition of a derivational Take two, in addition of a derivational morpheme to a word results in a derived word, which usually belongs to another word class. Other examples are A, Li, added to quick, becomes quickly. Word class adjective becomes adverb. B, Aeon, added to educate becomes education. Word class verb becomes now. Ative, added to inform, becomes informative. Word class verb to adjective. 
it is possible to have more than one derivational suffix in a word example. Nature, all, eyes, Asian, root, plus three, the, morphemes, private, eyes, Asian, root, plus two, the, morphemes, educate, in, el, east, root, three, take two, root, plus three, the, morphemes, respect, ab, et, root, plus two, the, morphemes, there is also a class maintaining derivation. In this case, the class of a word does not change after derivation. Examples are mother, concrete noun becomes motherhood, abstract noun with the addition of the derivational suffix wood, types of derivational morphemes. English words can be classified into two morphological types. One, base words. For example, nature, private, educate. Two, derived words, a, one root, plus bound, morphemes. A base word is one that has only one root and no additional free or bound morpheme. A derived word is one that consists of at least one root and the number of bound or free morphemes. Derived verbs. The following are the main morphological markers of derived verbs. One, eight. This suffix is used to form derived verb from a certain number of nouns. For example, salivate from saliva. Eyes, eyes. Suffix used to derive verbs from certain nouns and adjectives. For example, nationalize, mobilize from national and mobile. 3. Phi. Suffix used to form verbs from certain nouns and adjectives, for example, beautify from beauty and falsify from false. In, as in N. 4. N. Used to form derived verbs from adjectives, for example, brighten from bright. N, M, used to form verbs from certain nouns, verbs, and adjectives. For example, enslave, enclose, embitter. Derived nouns. One, nouns formed from verbs, age, as in storage, ants, as in disturbance, er, or, are, as in teacher, sailor. Liar. Meant as in commandment. Stir as in trickster. Shun as in consumption, construction. In as in dancing is easy. Two. Nouns derived from adjectives. S as in abundance, innocence. C as in consistency, it, as in feasibility, depravity, ness, as in happiness, stir, as in youngster, wood, as in falsehood, manhood. Three, three, nouns derived from other nouns, C, as in advocacy, Dom, as in kingdom. R, as in liner. S, as in hostess. Ood, as in fatherhood. Ian, as in librarian, technician. Ism, as in gangsterism. East, as in chemist. Ship, as in leadership. Ster, as in gangster. Four, diminutives. A number of bound morphemes are used to show diminutive forms in English. Some of them are 
let as in booklet ok as in elok ling as in duckling et as in cigarette a small cigar derived adjectives one adjectives formed from nouns why as in frosty healthy all as in intentional full as in hopeful less as in senseless Ari, as in legendary, ik, as in democratic, ish, as in childish, and as in woolen, id, as in ragged, li, as in friendly, brotherly, orderly, which are objectives and not adverbs, in spite of the li termination. Derived adverbs. One. Adverbs derived from adjectives. Li, as in quickly, beautifully. This suffix forms the largest number of adverbs in the English language. Two, adverbs formed from certain nouns, verbs, and adjectives with the prefix a, as in ahead, adrift, allowed. Three, adverbs from certain nouns, with, wise as in lengthwise with word as in backwards four adverbs formed from certain determiners as in everywhere anywhere etc that is determiner plus where for example some plus where study session summary the lecture deals with the use of derivational morphemes in the formation of words in English. Derivational affixes, suffix and prefix are used in the process. Derivational process can be a class changing or class maintaining one. When the addition of an affix to the root word changes the word class of a word, it is called a derivational morpheme. Four main morphological possibilities are discussed. These are derived verbs, derived nouns, derived adjectives, and derived adverbs. The derivational affixes are attached to free morphemes for new words to be derived. Post-test. Distinguish between afflection and derivation. Two, list four derivational suffixes which form nouns from adjectives. Three, List four derivational suffixes which form adjectives from nouns. Four, analyze the following words into their constituent morphemes and classify each morpheme as base, prefix, or suffix. Unfriendly, hopelessly, unimaginativeness, immovable, reclassify, notification. Five, Break each of the following words into their component morphemes and explain how they are derived. Uselessness, accomplishment, masterminds, rootlessness, universalism, anti-democratic, disenchantment, and multifariousness. End of study session seven. Thank you for listening.